Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Thespis, are you acting in another play? Car... Car... Cassandra! Aristophanes' friend, and my friend too. I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose if I hadn't carried you out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought... This could be a huge success! I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanthe, and my friend Cassandra will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas. You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine! Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. I'll take care of everything. There is the stables. The wine in there should be good enough for horses, at least. The wine Thespis wanted me to bring for the audience. It doesn't smell great, but it should be reasonable. What? I found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's not vinegar, at least. Maybe I can offer some discounted tickets in the poorer parts of town. So, when will I be able to see this play? Well, there is a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors? None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtis, Xerxes, and Vienikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. I hope the actors turn up. So, yes. Xerxes should be sniffing around the Dispontian ruins. Got it. The Anikis is probably in over his head, gambling in the great square here in Elise. Understood. My friend Tros is playing a fiatis. He's suddenly devout, so he's gone to pray at the spring of Piera. No problem. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. This is terrible. I'm really going to need the Leonidas to get out of this mess. Are you playing the Anikis for Thespis? I was, but now I can't. I lost all I had gambling with the commander. Now he says I'm his slave until I pay off the debt. 
I'll be working for him for years. Let's settle this debt. Oh, thank you. The commander is right over there. <laughs> you want to play another game? So glad you brought company. No, I... well... I need my friend back. He's due to act in a play. I think it's time you let him leave. What's the play? Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. This man plays the Anikis, Leonidas' lieutenant. Ah, a good military play. We need more of those on the stage. Of course, it would be best if they cast real soldiers instead of Nambi Pambi actors. I'm not! Oh, never mind. So here is how it is, Mistios. This Malakas owes me a debt that he's paying off with service. Do you intend to take his place? Let's make a deal. My services as a Mistios against his debt. Works for me. My soldiers used to be stationed at the stable of Evgeas. We've relocated since then, but left behind a good luck charm by mistake. Bring it back, and we'll call this even. Is that all? I'll be back before you know it. Good. I should return this to the commander. I found that good luck charm you mentioned. And the wolves you didn't. Which I'm sure were no problem for a Mistyos like you. Now, give me back my sword. You never said this was a sword. The best kind of luck is a fine blade. Hand it over. Here you go. I take it we're even? Yes. This will cover his debt. Now both of you get out of my sight. We should leave. Follow me. Do you think that commander will really leave me alone? Maybe he won't. But if you're playing the Anikis, you must be ready to defend yourself. A Spartan doesn't cower at home just because he has enemies. But I'm only a Spartan in a play. Do you want to convince your audience or not? The Anikis had to live with the fear of being killed every day. Why should it be different for you? I see. Knowing that commander could show up at my home any day with a dozen men and set spears at my throat... That fear will inform my character. Thank you! You're welcome. Now, get back to Thespis for rehearsals. Thank the gods! Don't thank them yet. Let's get out of here. Thank you. I don't think I could have survived much longer. Why were those Malakias keeping you prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains at play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am. But the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they wronged her, so she poisoned a shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the people of Elise be poisoned. I'll destroy the supplies. I destroyed the poison supplies before they could reach Elise. Well, that's good, but the witch is still out there. Nobody is really safe. I'm not safe. You think Xerxes was ever safe? Leonidas and his Spartans wanted him dead. His own mother would betray him, given the chance. Xerxes asking for safety. You're right, the king of Persia would never grovel. He'd crush his enemies before they could execute their plans. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, Your Majesty. Hello. 
Have you come to learn about the mysteries of Hidani? Sure, I'd like to know. Let's start with... What's Hidoni? Hidoni is the goddess of bliss. And since we all seek bliss, we are all Hidoni. I'm not seeking bliss. I'm seeking an actor. We have no actors here, only teachers and students. Look, his name is Tros. He's an actor working for Thespis. I recall hearing that an actor joined us, but now his name is Hidoni. Like mine, everyone here is Hidoni. Just give me a straight answer. I need to find that actor. I'm sorry. I'm the only one permitted to speak with outsiders. But if you pass her initiation, others will speak with you too. Fine. Initiate me, Hidoni. What do I have to do? Wonderful! You must complete two tasks to demonstrate your devotion. First, climb to the top of the waterfall of eternal joy and dive into froth of fantasy. Right. And then what? Then, explore the cave of deepest self-knowledge and return with the treasure you'll find inside. Waterfall dive, cave treasure. Got it. The cave must be around here somewhere. Ha! That must be the cave with the treasure inside. what I'm looking for. I jumped from the waterfall and found the treasure. Now, will you initiate me? You have initiated yourself. Welcome to the mysteries of Hidoni, Hidoni. Go talk with your brothers and sisters. They'll be happy to meet you. I'll go speak with them now. I'm looking for Tross, the actor. Well, none of us use our old names here, but acting, I know about that. Make the audience laugh when they want to laugh, and cry when they want to cry. And how would you make an audience laugh? Uh, well, I'd probably slip and fall on a piece of goat's blood. Works every time. I see. And to make them cry? I tell them about how much I miss my poor dead goat. And if that didn't work, I cut an onion at the same time. All theater trick, you know. Even if you aren't Dross, I'm sure you could pull off this part. Come act in Thespis' play. I'm flattered, but what am I supposed to tell my friends? We're supposed to honor the goddess Hidoni together. Look, your friends here already understand Hidoni's teachings. 
But if you were on stage expressing them, then hundreds more people could hear your message. You talk a good game. Sure, I'll do it to get the message out. Let everyone hear what Hidony can do for them. Good. Thespis is waiting for you at Pelops Market in Elise. Cassandra, my muse, my helper, the one who saves my posterior. I require your assistance one last time. You've got all your actors, Thespis. Your audience is sated, so what's the problem now? Leonidas himself is the problem. Picture it. I was rehearsing a monologue, brandishing my shield, encouraging my soldiers... Come back with your shield! Or under it! I believe that's with your shield or on it. No, no, I'm sure it's under it. But just as I gestured with my shield, I slammed it into my toe. And now I can barely stand, let alone act. It's a shame you have to cancel the play after so much work, Thespis. We are not cancelling the play. We'd have to give back people's drachmi. The show must go on. My Leonidas is right in front of me. What? Me? I'm no actor. And I'm no general, but on stage I am. Think of it. You could bring the great man's memory back to life. He could live again through you. It's my destiny. I'll play Leonidas. Excellent. So, let's do a quick run-through of your lines. You already heard the first part. Come back with your shield, or under it! On. On it. The next part is directed at Xerxes. The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods in wine! I'm pretty sure Leonidas said, drench the gods with their blood. I know what I wrote. Finally, when you confront the traitor, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Leonidas battled for all of Elas and its freedom, not just Sparta. I'm sure you'll get it right. If you like, go rehearse with the rest of the cast. But if you feel ready, to the stage with you. I'll go rehearse with my fellow actors first. It only good to see you. This performance will shine with the joy of the goddess, you'll see. I trust in her to guide my words. That could be a good plan. So, I'm Ephialtes the traitor. I'll say I'm so clever for betraying you and the Spartans. Then you say, today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the kings will remember. Why would Thespis write that? Leonidas was a king himself. He wanted the whole world to remember what he did. It's a work of art. Don't take the details too seriously. Do you need to rehearse more? Or are you ready to be Leonidas? I'm ready. Let's start the play. Welcome to our play, the heroic tale of King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans. Behold, your Leonidas. Thank you for being here. Remember that Leonidas was not only a king of Sparta, but the savior of all Greeks. I am the Enikis, lieutenant of the great Leonidas. I will serve him until Hades himself comes to claim him. My commander, my king, we are outnumbered and outmaneuvered. What can I do to help? What does the Spartan general have to say to his right-hand man? 
Come back with your shield, or on it. I am Xerxes, king of the Persians. Your puny gods mean nothing to me. Kneel before my mortal self. You Spartan cur! I will grind you and your people under my sandal. How will Leonidas reply to his mortal enemy, Xerxes? The Persians come to make slaves of us all. I have a better idea. I say we drench the gods with their blood! Exile and traitor! That's me! I'll bring doom to the Spartan army by revealing a secret god path to the Persians! The Spartans won't stand a chance! I've defeated your plans, Leonidas! I finally got your goat! Ha! The traitor dares talk back to his king! What will Leonidas say to that? Today was a day the Persians will never forget. Tomorrow is a day the world will remember. Great job, my friend. Enjoy the crowd's reaction, because I don't think Thespis will be happy you went off script. I think I can take care of him. I can't believe it! You ruined my perfect script! Didn't you hear the crowd? They wanted to hear the real story of Leonidas. I should know. He was my grandfather. <laughs> you never stop performing. I love that. You almost had me convinced, you joker. Here, you're part of the take. Thanks. Maybe I'm more of an actor than I thought. <laughs> 